Uh, in today's discussion, we are going to look at how to find the term independent of x in a binomial expansion. Okay, <clears throat> so I've got this interesting question uh, that came in um, one of the exam, and the question needs find the term independent of x in the expansion of x to the power 3 plus 2 over x, everything raised to the power 8. So a term independent of x is the term that doesn't have x. For example, if I have two, um, if I have one plus x plus x squared, so a term independent of x is going to be. In that case, I'm going to say the first term. Okay. The first term is the term independent of x. But now, one thing I want you to understand is that how do we find the term? So the term is given by r plus 1. But where does r comes in? So whenever we have got a plus b raised to the power n, the binomial expansion formula goes like this. n choose r then a raised to the power n minus r times b to the power r. Okay? So what happens here now is this represents my a and this represents my b. My n is 8. Okay? Using this formula, I can clearly see that a is x to the power 3. My b is 2 over x. Okay, then my n is a, is 8, but I don't know what r is. When I find the r, then I'll be able to find the term independent of x. Okay, so one thing I want you to understand again, the, the, the basic idea that I gave you, 1 plus x plus 2x squared. This is the first term, this is the second term, this is the third term. So you can clearly see that the first term doesn't have x but initially that is the same as 1x to the power 0 n number to the power or we say x to the power 0 n number to the power 0 is 1 so that's why it's the term independent of x so x to the power 0 is the term that we are looking for right now so let us go ahead and find the r when we find the r we come back we look at the term independent of x using this formula okay so then what is my n? My n is 8. What is my r? I don't know. My a is x to the power 3 raised to the power n is 8 minus r. What is my b? My b is 2 over x raised to the power r. Okay. Now my goal is I'm only interested in x for now and I want to find r. So what I'm going to do now is uh, I'm going to simplify this one. Whenever you have got any expression that is 2 over x, it's basically the same as 2x to the power negative 1, like that. Okay? Now this negative tells me that it's the same as 2, 1 over x, like that. Okay? So in short, what I want you to understand is that forget about forget about this two and we are looking at now what we are looking at this x so that becomes x to the power 3 open brackets 8 minus r times now this one the x there becomes x to the power negative 1 now negative 1 times r is negative r how does this negative comes about i've got 2 over x so 2 over x it's basically the same as 2 times 1 over x. 1 over x is the same as 2. It's the same as x to the power negative 1. So forget about this 2 because we are only interested in x. Okay. Now I have to equate this equal to a term independent of x is the term that has got x to the power 0. When I reach at this point, I need to find the value of r. Okay. So there we go. If the bases are the same and you are multiplying, we add the powers. So 3 times 8 is 24. Now I've got x to the power 
24 minus 3 there it will be 3r then plus but it's minus it will be that x to the power 0 so now if the bases are the same we equate the powers equal to each other so that becomes 24 negative 3 r minus r is negative 4r being equal to 0 so now we have cancelled this and equated the powers equal to each other so 24 is equal to 4r divided by 4 divided by 4 r is equal to 6 okay now r is 6 so if r is 6 what what term is independent of x so using this formula term is given by r is 6 plus 1 so the term independent of x is just basically the seventh term so if the question asks you to find the term independent of x this is the term the seventh term then they ask you to find now the coefficient now there are two questions find the term independent of x i find the term independent of x that is the answer find the term or find the coefficient of the term independent of x listen find the coefficient of the term independent of x the r value which i have found here i need to come back here and plug in the values when i find 8 then 6 then i need to plug in 3 then 8 minus 6 is 2 then i've got 2 over x r is 6 so a term when you say a term in front of x if you look at this 8 choose 6 this is going to be x to the power 6 then this is going to be 2 to the power 6 isn't it uh, supposed to be 64 okay so 2 to the power 6 is 64 so we have 64 divided by x to the power 6 a term independent of x you realize that x and x will cancel and x is does not appear there now does not exist so that is the term independent of x now if now we are doing this question we have already solved the term independent of x but in a case where they ask you to find the coefficient of the term independent of x that's when now you go ahead and simplify and find your final answer so now 8 is the same as 8 factorial divided by 8 minus 6 in the brackets factorial 6 factorial times I have got 64. So I have got 8 factorial divided by this is the same as 2 factorial and 6 factorial times 64. 8 factorial is the same as 8 times 7 times 6. I'll end there. 2 factorial is just 2 ok 6 factorial I will just leave it 6 factorial so 6 factorial and 6 factorial but here there is times 64 don't forget they will go 2 there 1 2 here 4 4 times 7 is 28 so the answer the coefficient of the term independent of x is um, 28 times 64 okay that will be the coefficient now so initially when they ask you about the term in print of x they just want you to find that but when they ask you about the coefficient that's when now you go further and simplify and find the answer so that is it about the term in print of x okay